Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Let's Play Borderlands uh, Claptrap's New Robot Revolution. Last time was the first episode of the series when we got started here at Tartarus Station and just went around and started doing some of the things that we needed. And did uh, just a couple of missions as well. And let me fix my headphones. So, something I am uh, trying for this recording is... Uh, I'm seeing if there's a reduction in background noise and by... Uh, the way I'm doing that is I have my laptop not sitting on the same little folding desk that the mic is sitting on this time. I don't think it was causing, you know, an atrocious amount of background noise or anything. But I'm curious to see if it is a noticeable difference. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll let this recording run its course, of course. Run its course, of course, and uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it comes out. Now, I'm getting concerned that the turret components are not uh, individually marked. Oh, well, maybe. Let's see. Anything? Ah, oh, yeah. Here we go. Good. Whew. That was worrisome for a minute there. Um, now it looks like it's pointing me to that one that I found uh, last episode. That is exactly what it's pointing to, and it's respawned, apparently. Well, for the sake of argument, for the sake of not trying to mess anything up, let's go ahead and grab it. Now, this does make it difficult to look over and see the time on the recording, but if it does reduce any subtle background noise, I might stick to this system. But I don't know. I also have to reach over and, and actually use the the touch screen function of the laptop rather than just like using the trackpad to click stop recording or mute the mic or whatever. I have to crane my arm around to get to uh, the screen so I can tap what I need to tap on the screen. It's, I don't know, I don't think, unless it's a really obvious reduction in, in background noise, I don't think we're going to keep it this way because this is a little impractical for actually recording anything. So, we head down here though. Oh, hello, weapon chest. Yep, that's mine. Sweet. Made that jump on the first try. Oh, hello. Oh, level 34. Crap. Crap. Crap as in the guns are crap. It's no, no good. No fun. Alright, well, anyways. Now that we have all three turret components, now we can actually go ahead and activate them turrets. So, I believe we gotta go up first, like so, and I don't remember where these go, actually, precisely. Oh, yeah, um, kind of startled me. Looks like we gotta, oh, we gotta get up there somehow. Anything else taller I can stand on here? Not really, not on that side. Oh, no, oh, here we go, boxes, nice. Jump up here, put that in there, and okay. We've got one turret online. There's the next one right there. The next, well, the next spot where we're gonna put the uh, opponent in. Like this, and there's actually a weapon chest behind that turret, so I kinda wanna go for it. Uh, okay, didn't make it. Kinda close, but didn't, didn't quite make it. Um, how high do I gotta go to start all over again? Oh, not very. Okay, well. Hmm. Hmm, sir. Whoopsies. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. Hold on. Crazy movement. Crazy movement. Ha! Nope. Alright. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. I'm not too worried about that chest. Ugh, get up the stairs, please. There we go. Um. Over this way. My patience is already limited, of course, because go figure. Uh, the recording program. Well, my laptop in general is just being weird tonight, so. Things were trying not to work. Trying very badly to frustrate me, and it worked. Not in, not in the best of moves anymore. But we'll see if we can improve that with a little bit of claptrap DLC humor. Ah, uh, but oh, this movement system. I'm so spoiled by new games with better movement systems. Please. Yeah, kind of like that. Case in point. Whatever. Whatever. We're done with that. Um. I thought I saw a green light there. It was the mailbox indicator, or mailbox uh, flag. But <laughs> all I saw was a green light flash on the screen for a sec. I was like, what is that? Squirrel! <laughs> so, 
Um, yeah, I don't think we're gonna keep this uh, laptop, you know, displacement set up here. Because holy crap, this is difficult to see. It's difficult to check on the recording and make sure everything is working all right, and uh, check on the time of the episode and stuff. I don't think we'll keep it this way for the future recordings. We'll go like this the rest of the episode, but uh, well, unless I get really desperate, then I'll mute the mic, fix everything, cut that part out, and bring you guys back in. But this goes back to the bounty board, so we'll go ahead and turn that in and then take a look at what missions we can actually do here. <clears throat> Like shooting rack in a barrel. Okay. Can I sort these missions by, like, DLC? No. Not, not really. Not at all. Um. Hyperion dump. That's one thing we could go ahead and do. Uh. Power plant located. Power source. <sighs> sure. Let's do burning rubber while we also look for. 42 claptrap components as we inevitably uh, murder them as we run around through the dump. But let's go ahead and help Marcus with his tires situation. I'll try to stick to my general, you know, side missions first rule of thumb. But, uh, yeah. We're gonna be going back through the dump again, which is, uh, I'm okay with it. I think it's an okay area. I don't hate it. I don't, don't love it. It's not my favorite, but, you know, it's not bad. Could be far worse. So, yeah, no. I'll take, uh, I'll take what we have. And the claptraps are actually pretty fun to fight. They're not really frustrating or annoying in the same way the lance are, but they're not, like, really easy of, like, a whole bunch of low-level bandits can be. And this is new over here. This little statue thing here. Uh, let's see, I think if I give us open ports for remote access, or give us death. <laughs> Reappropriating some, uh, some famous quotes, I see. At least that, you know, statue was. I'm pretty sure the other statues do something similar to other quotes, but I don't remember. Oof, I don't remember for sure off the top of my head. Man, it's got a weird feel, which is strange. Can the temperature outside now. Oh, for crying out loud. <sighs> Leave me alone, you. Turret. That last one missed. There. So, oh yes, uh, by the way. The bandits now are trap type enemies, which basically means you can see these things on their heads, and that is uh, mind control devices that clash up and attach their heads. So, um, yeah, that thing that Tannis picked up, and she was like, ooh, I wonder what this does. Back when we like, first met her, that's what that was. Uh, found and picked up and was holding, even though she didn't know it, and thankfully she didn't put it on. So, uh, you know. This um, this helmet that they're wearing that it gives them mind control abilities and stuff will that will have greater ramifications later. Let's say, without uh, without spoiling anything, it will it will matter a whole lot more later on. But uh, I won't say more because that would be giving away too many details about what's coming, and I don't want to do that. I want to keep this pretty spoiler free if I can. Tires, one out of six. We got, uh, we're heading this way now. I don't remember, I don't really remember where any of these tires are. Oh, well, because I can see that one. All bright and glowing and stuff. They're pretty easy. They're pretty easy to see, so. Let's grab it. Uh, now we're heading that way, I guess. I cheese it and jump over from here. I hate that they stop me sprinting. Sometimes when they they hit me at just the right angle and it like pushes me into something, stops me from sprinting. I hate that. I always forget there's fall damage in in the first game. I'm so used to Borderlands 2, which I honestly probably have more hours in than than even Borderlands 1. Uh, I'm so used to the lack of fall damage now that it's just kind of a natural thing to go leaping off of massive cliffs without really you know taking a second to think about the decision. 
Can I grab freedom fighter? Goodbye. Goodbye. Yep, oh, I forgot I only had a few shots. Master Samurai. Come here, you. Kamikaze. Yeah, there are Kamikaze clap traps here. And in, uh, I think it's the second playthrough, they're actually called, uh, Something of the Divine Wind. Which, again, if you don't know, Divine Wind is, is like, the term for, is the official term slash reason, uh, reasoning for kamikaze attacks, um, during World War II. But, uh, anyways, there's a pair of 3D glasses. Like I mentioned last episode, the crazy annoying achievement uh, achievements that are collection based. Yeah, those kinds of things, the things that aren't like gears and wires and these other main clap components that are for the mission. Um, those are what I was talking about with the achievement requirements that need you to go and collect a whole bunch of random crap. That is kind of annoying. Actually, it's incredibly annoying. It takes forever and it's highly unrealistic to finish in any kind of meaningful amount of time. Or reasonable amount of time, I should say. Let's see. There we go. Ah, uh, oh, I was kind of on a roll there with headshots. Couldn't keep it going, though. There's one good headshot. Well, it wasn't a headshot, but it killed him, so you know what? I'll take it. That, I don't really know how that one worked. I mean, I know there's travel, you know, there's actual travel time on the bullets in this game. I understand that, but um, I still feel like I led him way too far for that to have actually hit him. But it did, so, oh well, I guess I'll take it. Uh, where are we going? Back uh, past where we already were. Go figure. This mission is one of the usual Borderlands 1 collection missions where they're not kind in their guidance towards the uh, objectives. So they don't seem to put them in any kind of sensible order. Like at all. Oh, my hands are sweaty. It's hot. Very hot. Uh, get out of here. And I'm just gonna reload now because I don't need it. Yep, we literally went right by it, and the game didn't even tell us about it. Because the game just likes to torture you sometimes. Every once in a while. Go down. And there we go. That guy. And you have a friend down there. Yep, he's dead. I do like this SMG a whole lot, um, especially the good hip fire is, is just kind of handy. Just kind of handy, this may be lazy, you know? And you got guns like this one. And there's that tire. That's four. I remember what one is. I might remember where that one is, but I don't know for sure. Let's see. No. No. Alright. I uh, can't get out that way. You die. I jump this way. Nope, never mind. I run this way. Fall down. And keep running over here. Because apparently there must be a tire over here. This is one that I don't remember. Oh, I don't see it. So yeah, you can see it in the, uh, in the uh, stags. You know, stag traps. Which is kind of a way to get out of here. God, aim assist is kind of trying to pull me to one spot. I'm trying to pull the other way because I don't like where aim assist is trying to put me in. Oh, it just becomes a jumbled mess. You know, the usual for aim assist in video games. It doesn't always. Uh, Help you <laughs> like it, like it could. Uh, nice try there, Earl's dag trap. But no, 
it's too far away for that. Uh, what are you? A shield? Okay, not interested. Saw the green light, decided to check on it, make sure it wasn't a random item that dropped that I needed or something. Uh, and oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now I remember. This is the one that I was thinking of. Um, that one that we just picked up, I, I forgot about completely. I thought there was one um, in the middle of, it kind of looks like this, but a smaller version and with some more trash in the actual, in and around the actual water. It's an area that looks like that, and I thought there was a tire in the middle of that. Evidently there's not. Um, because we're on our way to get the last tire now. This one I do remember though, this is next to the giant, I always thought it was a, when I was younger I always called it the bulldozer. I don't think that's exactly what we got going on over here. Oh yeah, look at this. Perfect. And that is the one that I did remember. I knew that one. Give me them wires. There you go. Fish in a bag. That's what that looks like. I love that they call you flesh bag. What a, what a way to <laughs> describe someone. Get out of here. Stupid freaking flat traps. Mind. Mind. Oh my god. Something about this spot here, they tend to spawn eh, mostly infinitely. I mean, for all intents and purposes. He has pretty much infinite. Doesn't make sense to stop. Mind, sir. Get out of here. Ow. Oh, it has a flash trap. Got right up on me. Ugh. Gimme, gimme, gimme. My freaking hands are way too sweaty. Well, maybe my left hand, I don't know why. Let's see, gimme. Uh, no, uh, both, uh. Ah, come on. Jeez. There we go, come here, come here. Yes. I'm betting a kamikaze walked up and blew me up. Shoot, that's what I wanted. This is something that also kind of bugs me about this game compared to Borderlands 2. Um, mission items and mission items in general have the same freaking light color as, you know, green weapons. It's exactly the same shade and everything. And it's really annoying. Get out of here. This and let's see. Oh. Nope, nope, leave me alone. I got looting to do over here, so if you just screw off for a couple of minutes, that'd be nice. Oh, wait, I have a turret. There you go. I like them apples. Oh, wait, some of them are over here, too. Oh, that's not a turret. Is it? Oh, the frame rate is struggling. It's really having a hard time keeping up. Well, okay, let's move that a little bit now, but. Yeah. Oh, hey, there we go. We got the uh, first part of that mission done. We got all the tires, too, so there's the, the first map components collection. Uh, annoying as those tend to be. So we got, we got one down. Uh, hello. I mean, that's really cool, but um, it's, it's really bad right now. It's, it's ten levels underneath us, so that's not going to be much help. Legendaries tend to have a longer a longer lifespan than most guns, as in, you can use them for more levels over their minimum level than you can most other guns, again, this is generalization, but uh, I, I mean, even, even that relatively good legendary is not going to be very helpful to us at this level, so we got to talk to Tannis real quick, because she's first. Then we will head down. Ooh, excuse me. 
back to the actual town and talk to Marcus. I could probably take some time to sell some weapons as well, but I'm not too worried about that right now. Speaking of background noise, I know that there is, uh, I know I have a lot of kind of loud appliances in my house, so, you know, minus just the laptop being on the same be desk class as the uh, microphone the causing you know, potentially some background noise from the laptop working its butt off. Uh, on top of that, I have a very loud fridge that clicks on and runs for a few minutes, um, you know, periodically. I have a dehumidifier in the basement, pretty much right underneath this whole setup. Uh, almost right underneath this whole setup, and that is pretty loud when it kicks on. I have to, I have to fight with that dehumidifier in terms of volume, just so I can hear my speakers. <laughs> um, when I'm doing my workout in the morning in the basement, there, it's, uh, it ain't, it ain't great. <laughs> um, in terms of noise, that thing is, that thing's pretty loud. So there's plenty of other sources of background noise, but I figured I would try to reduce it a little bit more with the laptop somewhere else. Didn't, uh, didn't help too much. Okay, missions. Parts is parts. Yeah, that'll be a passive one, kind of like the brains quest. Okay. Excuse me, I'm still yawning. I don't really know why. Um. We need to head over to a new area, which is kind of cool, but also a little bit daunting. So, um, and now we're going to really start to have the issue of saving and quitting in the middle of an area, um, and then having to walk from the fast travel station, the only one, up in Tartarus Station. All the way back to wherever we were before. And that just plain sucks. Now, thankfully, these guys have probably taken care of uh, all, if not most, of uh, the bandits here. So that's good. We got some grenade mods. And that's all we got over here. So not too interested. We're just going to keep right on trucking. And this is definitely the part of the DLC where I don't remember Jack Diddly Squat. So I remember a couple. Excuse me again. I'm so sorry. I remember a few distinct rooms, like that room. I remember that room. I remember seeing this cave. I don't remember the layout though. And what does this statue say? See how our enemies crumble beneath the wheel of the Claptrap Revolution. See, I knew they actually used the term Revolution. It wasn't just me making that up. Um, is this the one where... Yeah. <laughs> On the map, there's a question mark symbol. Uh, I think that's pretty funny, but... That was, like, always my favorite thing about this area when I was younger. Because I, I would get lost in the Really? Really? Get out of here. I don't gotta deal with your crap. The fact that he survived that even though he was closer to it than I was. I ain't gotta deal with that crap. I can kill you. There you go. See, that's, that's what I like to see right there. There we go. Look at this. The barrel starts to go right away. I have to move as soon as I fire my SMG on the full blast. And this massive cloud of fire in front of the barrel that I can't see around. Why do you do this to me? Because they hate me, I assume. But but why? You know? Oh, okay, let's see. Any arrows? No? Oh, there's one. I wonder where that's going to take me. Let's follow it and find out. I don't know if these are leading me to the uh, the thingy that I want, or or what. Uh, whoopsies. Uh, let's see here. And what is up in here, then? A uh, weapon chest, I hope? Oh, there you go. Ta-da! Okay. I just used this guy to farm health with my transfusion grenades. Are you 
Yep, that'll work. I like that. Speaking of health, I'll take that. I'll take that. And that's not an awful machine gun, but it's definitely not something I am looking for right now. Or that I care to invest in. Hello. What is this room? Am I there almost? No? Maybe not. Nope. I guess not. Oh, there's a crap trap here, too. Oh, jeez. Oh, they heard me. Clap traps, I hate you. Leave me alone. Jeez. Come on now. Ugh. Why am I so tired all of a sudden? What's going on? This is like the one night that I could still play too, because, you know, I don't have to uh, have a later start to college today. Jeez. Ah, stop! You freaking flinch. Stop shooting me for two seconds. There you go. There we go. See, that's what I can do when I'm not being flinched every freaking second. Or less. What? Thank you. The second shot looks like it should have missed that spot. Or it missed his head. And the first shot looked like it really should have. But of course, that would be far too logical. I don't like your freaking revolver. Stop. Gosh. Some people, man. So annoying. Okay, I saw a claptrap down there. I was like, is it a claptrap that needs assistance? Is a claptrap or... not entitled to the oil of his brow? No, says the man at Hyperion. It belongs to his owner. No, says the treasure hunter. It belongs splattered on the floor. But we choose something different. We choose the revolution. That's going to be the way out, I assume. Okay. Now, here's the question. Okay, arrows point this way. We're going to follow the arrows. There's the fridge. That just is done. You probably heard that. Yeah, but it was nice and audible in the mic. Oh my gosh. Are we really at 27 minutes already? Holy crap. That's crazy. Time flies. But I'm not complaining really because I'm tired. Oh, I'm so tired. I really need to sleep, but I don't. But I do kind of want to, but I can't if, uh, if I'm falling asleep before I even leave my bed. Uh, gimme, 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 gimme. Check a couple of these around. They're seeking anyways. They'll do the they'll do the hard job for me. Find them. Beef eater. Crap. Okay. Ow. Who's this? Get out of here with that freaking crazy machine gun. Badass Not anymore. Is that a higher... Oh, dang it. I thought I found a higher damage transfusion grenade for a second there. But I guess not. Uh, let's see. Let's try to open up these lockers. There we go. Very carefully. Grab the contents without picking up the gun that I don't want. Okay. We got to, like... This part, and I lost my arrows. Okay, there's an arrow going this way. It's light, the building with the blue light on it looks familiar for some reason, but I can't explain why. We kind of head in the right general direction. I have no idea because we're in the question mark section of this whole place, so. Hmm. Don't know yet. I'm heading east. That seems like progress. Hello. You guys like turrets? You guys like turrets? I like turrets. Let's get a turret. There we go. There's one. There's... Oh, that guy's down too. Neat. Hello. Get to follow me this way, sir. There you go. Right into the turret. Good job, turret. I do love that damn thing. That turret is awesome. I don't care what anyone says about the first Borderlands game and the characters and stuff. That turret is real useful. I mean, at least on the single player. You know, Lost or anything like that. Yeah, it's probably a better option, but... Oh, boy. 
29-ish, almost 30 minutes. Uh, we're almost there, I think. I'm pretty sure we're... Let's finish off the guys in this little area here, and then we will call it good. For that trap's behind me, I want to keep moving in case any of them... Oh god, our kamikaze traps. There we go. There, and... Alright, well now they're dropping health, I'm full on health, so thanks for that, you jerks. You bunch of freaking jerks. Ooh, hello. Hello! Wow, look at this. Where's our, uh... Where's our good combat rifle that we've been using? I don't even know, we haven't even used it in a little while at this point. 194, 10, fire rate. Um, the ma machine gun I'm looking at now is almost that good, and it's an actual machine gun, which is pretty sweet. So we're gonna we're gonna drop this piece of crap shotgun. I'm gonna need to drop something else, aren't I? I yeah, I we'll drop the caustic guardian because honestly, I mean I know it's a legendary, but uh, realistically, yeah, not. Um, <sighs> Just not gonna use it, you know. I'm just, I'm just not gonna use it. So, okay, God, I am freaking really tired. <sighs> okay, grenade, grenade, do this. Oh God, what the hell? Oh, barrel mine. Oh, the flame. Oh God. Oh, this machine gun is awesome with Metal Storm. I am so glad we found this. Oh, it feels good to have a machine gun that I can actually make use of in my hands again. It feels so good. Okay. Well, that will definitely do it for this episode of Let's Play Borderlands, Claptrap's New Robot Revolution. I hope you have enjoyed, and as always, hope to see you all in the next one.